Flexo stands for flexible OTN. So what, if we go back uh, a little over 20 years ago, ITU defined the very first optical transport network or OTN standards. And those evolved over time uh, to higher rates, usually in multiples of four in terms of the rate. And the forward error correction or FEC was an integral part of the OTN frame. And when we got up to 100 gigabit per second, then it seemed like it was a good time to go to, to a different type of, uh, of resolution or different type of approach. So at that point, OTN rates increased by multiples of 100 gigabit per second, and that seemed like the appropriate time to decouple the forward error correction from the OTN frame itself. So that was the point at which Flexo was introduced. And we also, so we wanted something that scaled readily, but also uh, we started to track more closely with what was going on with uh, the higher speed eth ethernet rates. So it was good to have some uh, commonality and some synergy with the ethernet rates and interfaces. So Flexo is OTN, um, and to be more specifically, it's a layer one technology and we often refer to it as an information structure that has a frame, an overhead, some payload area, and a FEC. So what that enables basically are different applications. So we have what we call short reach applications, also referred to as client interfaces or um, gray interfaces. So they're referred to by different things in the industry, but in ITU we call them short reach, and those are to interconnect OTN interfaces between different administrative domains. So the Flexo client interfaces have been following the similar interfaces we would see in I IEEE for Ethernet, for example. Um, we also have a class of interfaces that we call long reach interfaces often referred to as WDM or colored interfaces. Uh, these are coherent line interfaces, and we ha have a family of Flexo interfaces that address those applications. We see multi-vendor interoperable interfaces, as well as single vendor proprietary interfaces that have proprietary effects, but make use of the common elements that, that we develop in Flexo. And we call it Flex for flexible, um, because what we've defined is very scalable. So it, it can go from 100 gig to multi terabit. So we've designed it in a way that it uses these 100 gig instances. And that's why we call it flexible. But also we call it flexible because it has additional features that we've introduced to OTN to do things like uh, bonding, which means using multiple interfaces together in a group. So uh, that's been introduced as part of Flexo as well. So that, that is Flexo. The original Flexo definition or specification was in the G.709.1 because 709 because it was a follow-on to the G.709 OTN recommendations. Uh, that covered the OTN or the Flexo frame format and short reach interfaces that Seb just referred to. At this meeting, we decided that it was time to reorganize because we had since added another uh, for another in the series G.709.3 that covered long reach Flexo interfaces and we anticipated additional ones. So we pulled all of the common elements for all of the different Flexo interfaces into uh, G.709.1 and then that gives us our building blocks. Um, and one of the building blocks is actually FlexoSec, which is a, a security protocol. And so it's encryption and authentication for Flexo interfaces. Then uh, G.709.3, that was the original long reach Flexo interface. And that covers 100 gigabit per second through 400 gigabit per second interfaces. The short reach portion that was moved out of 709.1 and put into G.709.5. And then G.709.6 was introduced at this meeting to cover uh, 400 gigabit per second up through 800 gigabit per second Flexo interfaces.
Yeah, so at this meeting, we've introduced three new features to the evolution of Flexo. And so I'll talk about these. The first one we call Flexo Regeneration. That's the capability to be able to regenerate a Flexo interface or signal without terminating the Flexo layer itself. So we've introduced new overhead and OAM to be able to do this. And that extends the reach of some interfaces by regenerating the signal. The second is a Flexo Ethernet optimized interface. So it's a class of interfaces that have a slightly reduced rate, but also um, have some overhead and some mapping procedures that are specific for mapping Ethernet in the Flexo signal. So we see this for applications of IP over WDM, point to point Ethernet, or point to multi point Ethernet as well. And the Third feature I'm going to talk about is the new class of higher baud interfaces. So that's a new recommendation, uh, G709.6. And they are higher baud interfaces, baud or symbol rate. And you can have 400 gig QPSK longer reaches, or uh, also we've introduced 800 gig 16 QAM, so that's a higher capacity interface. And those were all um, consented at this meeting.